you guys, you guys, you guys. I just filmed a video previously. I was wearing the same, sh this ratchet ass shirt. You guys, I went back and forth today. Wanna know why? I need a drink first. I went back and forth because I didn't know if I had it in me or if it was a good idea for me to even talk about this cleanser. Um, if you've been watching my Instagram stories, I think you'll have an idea of who, what I'm about to show you. But if not, here we go. It is this cleanser, this lovely little cleanser. <laughs> The Ceramic Slip Cleanser, gentle plant-based cleanser, pulls out impurities while pulling in clean hydration for smaller looking pores and a clean, radiant complexion by Sunday Riley. So I'm on the hunt for a new cleanser. You guys always know I'm always doing that. See, I'm always doing the research. I'm always doing the field work for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm out there on the field. I'm taking the hits. I'm taking this. I'm taking that. I'm trying to find what's good. What's good? And you guys, this product ain't it. Uh, I don't care. Listen to me. I've been trying this product out for weeks now, right? And let's just start out with what the F it is. So Sunday Riley, it's a $35 cleanser, which I find kind of pricey for a cleanser at the brand's level, uh, for five ounces. Details on how to use. To star your day, massage in your face with wet hands and apply into a rich, creamy lather. Rinse skin and pat dry. Creamy lather, I've yet to see that. Follow with your favorite Sunday Riley treatment, girl vibe. To rem and then for your PM routine, to remove makeup, excess oil and impurities, gently massage onto face, add water to create a lather and then rinse clean. For best results, follow, girl, I'm not following anything up with anybody. Alrighty, so again, like I was saying before, this is my first Sunday Riley product. I hear really great things about Sunday Riley and um, I really just wanted to try it out. I was like, let's go, like let's start this lovely, it's French green clay and rice oil esters. The F? Like, okay. A blend of four gentle plant-based soaps. I hate the word soap for my face at any time. That lift up and wash away dirt and impurities without stripping the skin. French green clay pulls dirt, oil, pollution, and makeup out of the pores while rice oil esters protect the skin from dehydration. Impurities are pulled out, clean hydration is pulled in. I don't really exactly know what that means. Clean hydration is pulled in. What exactly, I'm not following. Formulated as a universal foaming cleanser for even the most sensitive skin. Girl, okay. Ceramic slip leaves all skin types softer, cleaner, balanced, extremely gentle. This Deep cleaning cleanser can be used daily, morning and night, for a healthier looking complexion. The skin types that are recommended for this product are normal, oily, combination, dry. It's solutions for dryness, redness, <laughs> and oiliness. That is what the, they claim this product is supposed to help. Now. I will not be trying this product on for you guys today because it makes my face very irritated and red. Go figure. It's supposed to be the cure for redness, but girl, not me. So I was using this and using this and using this and I honestly, I've been putting it on a Clarisonic because it's a, supposed to be a gel cleanser. So every time I think of gel cleansers, I think of, oh my God, I, I'm going to love, you know, using a Clarisonic with my gel cleanser because they're going to like, you know, I'm going to get a lot of bubbles and it's going to be fun. Uh, this product does not strike me as gel at all. It's, I don't know what it strikes me as. And as far as lather, it doesn't lather. I've used my hands. I've used my Clarisonic. I have a very gentle brush head on my Clarisonic. So let's not blame it on that. And I just, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the appeal. Uh, so over time, I'm, I just keep using this product. And like I said, it's okay. I don't think it did anything miraculous. I didn't see it glow in my face, nothing. 
but I was noticing that I was getting really like irritated all around here and just certain parts of my face, even like I'm still recovering um, from a couple breakouts. Like you'll see on my husband does my skincare video. Uh, I have a lot of pimples and it, I think I've, I think this is to blame for it. And um, like I said, I'm still healing. So, but it's starting to go away. I got rid, I stopped using this cleanser immediately and my face is already immediately clearing up and I'm also seeing a healthier glow in my skin. So I know this product did more harm than good. My biggest complaint about it has to be that it irritated my skin point blank. Now I know it's made with rice oil esters. I don't know exactly what that is, but I do know the Tatcha rice enzyme um, exfoliator and all that, their rice products. I know those products also broke me out and my skin didn't really like those products either. However, they never made me irritated and like burny as this product. So, but they did break me out. So I don't know if my skin just doesn't like rice-based products. I know there's a lot of plant soaps in here, which is still freaking scary, but I'm not gonna put it on for you guys today because I really want my face to heal. I don't really want this like on my skin. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys it on the back of my hands. I have some water here. I'll show you how it uh, works. So it pops open like this and you get five ounces and it comes out in like this, like, I'll keep in mind, it also doesn't have a scent, but it comes out like this in this color. And um, I'm gonna just put wet my hands. So my hands are wet and I'm just gonna start massaging this and this is how this product disperses on your face. I'm not seeing any suds. This is gel, keep in mind. This is supposed to be a gel cleanser. So when they talk to me and they are talking about lathering on the, like I'm putting, getting more water cause I'm like, I can't even believe this. They talk about lathering this product doesn't lather at all. Like, am I missing something, you guys? Like, I don't know. Like, here, I'm gonna put more water. Boom, here, wet. I'm not seeing a lather. Where is the lather? Where's the foam? Where's the, I mean, then I think they tried calling this like a foaming gel cleanser. I think they had the audacity to do that. Um. So yeah, maybe a slight lather now, but this is typically what it looks like on your face. So not impressed. Not impressed at all, actually. And it's, I'm kind of upset. I'm gonna wipe it off now. Oh, you guys, and I can't even return this product now because I've used over 50% of it because I kept squirting out more and more product because I wasn't getting a lather and I thought I was missing something. So I've used more than 50% of this product and I now can't return it. So I'm stuck with it now. Girl, bye. So it leaves your, well, it leaves the back of my hand at least feeling slightly hydrated. So I will say that, but over time of daily use, um, I didn't really experience that on my face. My face seemed kind of dry. It seemed kind of flaky. And also again, irritated and with redness. Redness was a big concern of mine. So I don't know, you guys. You saw what I saw. I can only tell you what I think of this. I don't think this product is worth it. I do not approve it. And I wish this was a more like positive video, but it is. At least we all now know that this product needs some work. Um, don't come for me, Sunday Riley people. You know, maybe I, maybe I'm not, I don't know. You know, maybe, maybe to some this is, you know, somebody else's holy grail product, but for me, no. Everybody, thanks for tuning into my channel. Um, until next time, love you, bye.